it's mashed potato. Hi, it's Marissa. And I'm Lauren. We're testing inventions to see if they live up to expectations. We're here to answer the most important question. It's cool. But does it really work? In this box right here is the potato spiralizer. What it basically does is you put a potato on a stick and it feeds it through this machine that will make it into a spiral and you pull the whole potato down the spiral. It's really cool and really interesting. People always love weird looking foods. Yeah. So it'll like, look so awesome like when you just like spread it apart and you see all those potatoes. Yeah. And also you can use like zucchinis, yeah, right? Yeah, carrots, any kind of vegetables I guess that you want to use. I also think something about America that is unique is we like food on sticks. We do. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god! This is a little baby! Oh, and it comes with skewers! Oh! So this lever is to suction cup this entire like machine onto the table. That's awesome. So all you do is kind of push down and then bring this over. And it's just like there, it won't slide. I could pick up this table with this. <laughs> like, I don't know how strong it is. <laughs> I don't think this product is gonna work. I have three reasons. One, I think it'll be really difficult to spin around, especially with a raw potato. Two, I think that this product can only fit like one type of potato. It can't fit like a larger zucchini or like a bigger eggplant. So I think it's very specific to like a certain size of potato. And then finally, I feel like these skewers are really brittle. Especially when you're trying to put it into like a hard raw potato. I don't think it's practical. I'm not about practical, I'm about fun. And I think this is a really fun product and a really great idea. And so it'd be great if you were hosting, you wanted to do something unique and different, or just eat a potato on a stick. I think it'll work. We have our potatoes here. We have sweet potato and regular potato. These two are raw and then these two are cooked. Those two are cooked. So in the microwave for just five minutes. So the directions say just to cut like the top half so it can stick in this little end part right here. Okay. Put those over there. Oh, she dropped it. <laughs> Let's start with the raw potato to okay. see if it'll actually skew. Oh God, the skewers seem very fragile. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the problem we thought we would have. These skewers are like really um, fragile and we don't want to break them. We're gonna move on to the sweet potato instead because we come through, um, Marissa actually come through. All right. Right. No, it was hard, you saw the struggle. She broke it again! She broke the skewer again! So now that we have broken two skewers, we are going to move on to our softer <laughs> microwave baked potatoes. I think this should be a lot easier. Oh my god! Look so at that! Easy. It went right through. <laughs> Or do you think it's gonna spiral? <laughs> I think it's going to spiral. <gasps> it's mushy! <laughs> it's mashed potato. No! We cooked both of these for like two and a half minutes. Yeah, it's soft enough, we think, for the skewer to fit all the way through. Whoa, she didn't break something. Is it go, is, will it go? Round 17. Yeah, so we have the sweet potato, it's slightly cooked. It was a little bit more firm in the middle, so we're hoping this is gonna work out. Ah, oh, I just poked <laughs> my shit. <laughs> So we're not doing it the way that it's intended to be done, but, <laughs> but it it's working. Kind of. Oh, that's ugly. It did kind of <laughs> spiral. This is a raw potato. Because it's so small, the stick actually goes through it. So we're going to try to spiralize this little guy. Ooh, that sound is so satisfying. Oh, man. This is how it's supposed to be done. I see. Why? But that's as much as it's gonna go. Yeah, go you have no potato. Potatoes. I'm trying to pull it. Um, it's still too hard and too raw. Oh, there bit. you go. But that's really But you're small. supposed to keep the skewer on it, though. But it wouldn't even move with the skewer because it was still all, like, stuck to each other. This is going to be our, like, 
30th time doing this, but now we're gonna do it with zucchini, which I think will work because it's soft in the center, but firm on the outside. Yeah, we don't have to cook it. Uh, it's beautiful! I can go really fast. Oh my god, that's oh. really nice! <gasps> Forget potatoes. <laughs> Only vegetables. So this is really not for potatoes. The yeah. skewers were too brittle, so it wouldn't fit through the potato. I think yeah. if we had like stainless steel or like steel skewers, it probably would work a lot better. A lot better. Only certain like sizes. lengths, yeah, certain sizes of vegetables can fit in here. It's cute though, it's fun if you're into experimenting. <laughs> cute fun gadgets. Cute fun gadgets. <laughs> a disaster or a huge success or something in between let us know in the comments <gasps> <That's Whoa>! cool! <laughs>